Hello, Ian Haig here with a tiny little bit of DaVinci Resolve scripting nerdiness for you. I got a question the other day in the YouTube comments asking if it was possible to trigger a script when DaVinci Resolve has finished rendering and it is possible, it's a new feature in DaVinci Resolve 17. We are going to wire up a tiny little script that's going to make it uh, play a sound when it's finished rendering and the sound is going to be this. Let's get into it. We're in DaVinci Resolve version 17 and we're looking at the Deliver tab, which is the little rocket ship down here. If you scroll down under your render settings, you get to advanced settings, flip that open, scroll down some more, and this little guy is new. Trigger script at start or end of render job. I turn that on, currently there's nothing in there, it's empty. And that's what we're going to fix up. We're going to write a little Python script that's going to play a sound. Now, how is it going to play the sound? And in fact, what sound is it going to play? I am using these macOS sounds, which give me a lot of nostalgic value. Uh, wild Eep. Eep. Or classics like Quack. 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 You get the idea. If you want to download these sounds as well, I will put the URL into the description at the bottom of this video. I'm going to right click on it or hold down control and click on it and then hold down the option key and I get copy as path name. It's going to put that on the clipboard. Next thing we need is some sort of text editor to write our script. So we can use Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code. I'll use Sublime Text. Both of those are freely downloadable. Make a new document. And now if I paste, that is the path of the file that we just copied. That's the path name. Don't worry if yours looks a bit different. I'm sure yours will look a bit different. I'm just going to select all and then I'm going to type a quote. It's going to put, it's going to surround that path name in quotes, which is important for what we need to do. And then I'm going to type AF play. That is only going to work on the Mac. Sorry if you are on Windows or Linux, but that's what we're going to use to play our sound. Now select all of that again, and I'm going to type a single quote this time. It's going to surround everything in a single quote as well. And what we're doing is building up a command that Python will execute for us. Now going to the start of that line, I'll type, uh, this can, just as a variable, command equals. Okay, there is our command. Now going back to the start of line again, put in a few empty lines, put it at the top here, import OS, and then down here, OS system command. And that's the whole script. All that's doing is it imports a library here, it sets up this command AF play, everything is in quotes to make it work, even with the spaces in there. And then finally, it uses the system part of the OS library to execute the command that we've put in here. If you don't understand it, don't worry too much. It will work. It should work. It might work. Okay, now I'm going to press save and I will give that a... Oh yeah, so this is important. You can't just save it anywhere, right? You've got to save it to that folder that we saw before. Um, a little quick reminder. It's this folder. I'm going to go up here and se select that. I'm going to copy it. Copy. I'll use a keyboard shortcut, Command Shift G for golf, which will bring up the Go to Folder dialog box. Type Paste, Command V, and then hit Go, and it's going to drop me straight into that folder that we wanted before. And now I'll give this a a name, Wild Eep uh, Python, or say Play Eep, for example. Um, and we're saving, so that script that we've just written, we're going to save that into the deliver folder. We got that path from here. And the PY is short for Python, and that tells the system that it's a Python script. I hit save. It's automatically uh, changed the color so that it looks like a Python script now as well. And importantly, if I go back to DaVinci Resolve and look under the script here, there's play eep. 
if I say I want to trigger that script at the end of the job, okay, add that to the render queue, I will render it and eep. it worked. It played a little eep. You could get that to do um, something else. Let's get it to do something else as well. Um, rather than, we'll get it to play the eep, but we'll also get it to do, say, um, another equals. And this time, I'm going to type a single quote, touch, and then uh, we'll say the tilde, which is a shortcut for your home directory. And now we'll put Dropbox, and then we'll put rendered or finished finished rendering okay now duplicate this uh, line here and we'll call that so this time touch just means it's going to um, create this file it's just an empty file nothing in it it's just that name and put that into Dropbox when it's finished rendering so first of all, it will execute this command, AF play, and then the um, wild eep AIF. And then immediately after that, it'll call the system again, and it will make an empty file in my Dropbox called finish rendering. Now, this is all live, people. I have not tried this. I can just hit uh, clear render status, and then just to show that there's nothing up my sleeves, if I go into Dropbox, there's nothing in there called finish rendering. Let's try rendering it and see what happens. Replace that file. Render, render, render. Should go eep. Eep. And check out in the finder. Finish rendering. It worked. So you could uh, you could obviously get way more sophisticated with this. You could get it to um, send you an email or an SMS. Those actions are well beyond the scope of this tutorial and are more suited to um, a Python tutorial than a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, but at least you know now how to get it to execute a script or trigger a script at the end of the render job. So there you have it. Execute a script at the end of a render when DaVinci Resolve has finished. Get it to send you a message, play a sound, send an email. Get it to, to activate some sort of Rube Goldberg uh, contraption involving lots of pulleys and levers and maybe it boils an egg maybe that's how you find out that your render is finished you get a boiled egg or maybe you're vegan maybe it could boil um, a potato or something it's probably uh, don't do that it's going to use too much energy and we're going to be in whole NFT uh, territory. Okay, cool. Well, this outro has gone on forever. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and um, we'll see you, uh, see you real soon. Bye.